I believe that successful leadership requires many things. The ability to craft a vision, the need to collaborate and work with other individuals and groups, the ability to coach and inspire others, the ability to listen, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. Our way of life here at Norcross recognizes varying opinions in society and still preserves the rights of all to express those opinions. It rewards hard work and perseverance and yet encourages selfishness and generosity. Our city remains one of the most desirable places to live in Gwinnett County. Our Norcross spirit is defined by our innate ability to reach out and help others in times of loss in times where volunteers are needed for special projects or events. That's the Norcross that I know. Those that know me know that I have a background in business management, managing both the manufacturing department and the technical service department for a world leader in high-tech analytical laboratory equipment. I understand business and will push a strong business ethic here in Norcross with the understanding that a city's operation should be run like a business with the citizens as the shareholders, but you do that with compassionate respect for its employees. This approach creates a work environment that encourages employees to work with you and not for you. I have three things that I believe requires our focus here in Norcross to maintain the quality of life that we know and we love here in Norcross. Number one, we need to increase our economic viability and our quality of life by protecting our downtown, by expanding our city center, which would include revitalization and redevelopment across Beaufort Highway, toward East Norcross, and toward the south end of downtown. And beyond our downtown, we need to encourage high wage, technically inclined business into our city. We've done that with FedEx and Hyundai, and we'll continue to bring Fortune 500 companies into the city of Norcross. Number two, we need to increase public safety through increased technology. And there are new tools out there. Using technology tools to reduce crime reduces the need to increase our fixed costs. Number three, sustainability of our parks and our historic and natural resources. Our small town charm is an asset and one that other cities attempt to emulate. Along with protecting our downtown, our trees give us character that is a huge compliment to our small town feel. These are just a few of the big picture placeholders that I hope we as a council can continue to work on in making Norcross a world-class city.